Hello developers, imagine launching your app and watching it become a favorite in countries around the globe to reach a wider audience. Sounds great. But translating all those strings to other languages seems hard, doesn't it? So here's the catch. We can use Flutter localizations and Intel packages to internationalize our app and make users feel at home. Intel package provides internationalization and localization. The Intel package handles everything from translating static text and dynamic messages based on context dates, times, and numbers so that the app feels native to users around the world. First, in the PubSpec YAML file, add Flutter localizations and Intel package under the Dependencies section. Then under the Flutter tag, set Generate to True. Now create a new file named L10N under this directory and create a class named L10N. This class contains all the locales which our app will support. Here, these are the language codes. You can find all the language codes here on this website. Inside the main.dart file, add the supported locales that we have already created. Let's create an L10N.yaml file in the root directory of our project. Inside this file, add these three lines of code. The first line defines the path of our L10N file where we set our locales. This line specifies a template file that we'll add inside the L10N folder of lib. This line specifies the auto-generated file location inside the FlutterGen folder of the Dart tool. Navigate to the L10N folder and create a new file named appin.arb, which is for the English language. This will be our template file where we are assigning key value pairs for each text in our app and a description for each key value. This file is used for translating our app messages into English language. We can add more language files for other languages, such as Arabic, German, Persian, French, Hindi, and Urdu. It's important to remember that the keys for our text should be the same across all locales. Also, we only need to add descriptions in the default English template file. Now we can run our app. Then, you can see here, our app has generated different translation files here with different languages. Now in our main file, let's import our generated translations and add this line inside our material app to give localization delegates. Then add our initial language locale here. Also import the app localizations class in our homepage, which contains generated translations. Then create the app bar text and access the title translation using this code. We can also add body text to display the current language and hello world message. We can also pass some parameters to our translations. For this first, let's add a key value pair in our default English template with a parameter and description add the same key value pair with the parameter in other translation files. Now on our home page, we can pass the username parameter to the greeting text here. By changing the locale in our main file, you can see the language changes throughout the app, including the app bar and body text with layout changes. If you have enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Until next time, stay safe and keep coding.